I am sorry. I do. I did make a mistake uh, in the previous video when it comes to the six amp hour versus the one point three amp hour. For some reason, I do not know why. I thought that the one that the regular thin black battery, the part one hundred two, I think it was, was a one point two when in fact it was a one point three. So I'm sorry about that. <laughs> Today, what I planned on doing originally was I was going to uh, finish power washing the, the deck on the outside part, but it's a little too cold for that. I don't want to be sprayed by mist and get cold. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to check all the posts along the perimeter of the deck and make sure all those bolts are tightened so it's not jiggly and loose. So that's what we're going to do right now, and we are going to be using... My favorite tool. Just another excuse to be able to use this tool. So it is the brushless impact. We're gonna use the new bits today to see how they are. And I just wanted to let you guys know that uh, making stuff and breaking stuff was my go-to YouTube channel to figure out which tools should I get for the certain situation. I'll go check out the channel if you guys want specs. Uh, all the way around on the tool that you want to get that is the YouTube channel to go to so go check out his channel go uh, watch that stuff it's fun it's uh, fun to watch and one more YouTube channel I wanted to mention is Edgar Martinez the content that he does is actually unique the Ryobi website and he tells you in detail What's the latest and greatest? Edgar Martinez is the guy to go to. What my channel is about, it's pretty much the, channel, the tools that I buy and how you would use them in real life. Let's go to the deck and uh, see what needs to be fixing. We can fix this one. This one is very, very high up. I am wondering if this needs to be replaced with screws. Uh, the screws need to be replaced or what? So we'll see. Yep, screws are broke. <laughs> screws are broke. All right, so this is what I got. This is what I feel like I have to do to get it out. Yep, screw head broke. Put that in my pocket. Go to the next. All right, so I'm wondering if these will fit right where they're at. I have a feeling not, because the other screws on the other end. There we go. Luckily it is not. Wow, that shakes the entire, entire deck. That are broken, of course. Now, unfortunately, I do not have my Ryobi hammer on me, so I have to use this. that look at that still that bit I, I abused the hell out of it just now that bit is still good I mean like that didn't even it that just pretty much scratched the paint still looks good right now that this side this side pretty much is done let's concentrate on the top
Look at that bit. Still, still going though. Still, still going. You're the one perfect. Let's see what we got here. that up a little bit seriously a little bit more that one ain't going nowhere I broke that head. Yep, I broke that head. I knew it. I knew I broke that. That one's. And the last two are in here. That's very good. Very good. Wow, that, that is a lot more stiff, a lot more stiff. Could be a little stiffer though, it could be. Wait a little bit. broken and the last one done sticking out pretty far alrighty all right so just got back from taking the wife out to dinner uh, and we were able to get 
the stuff fixed on the deck that we wanted to get fixed. Uh, we had screw heads broken, we had boards sticking up. You guys saw it in the video. Uh, before I do this review, I did want to point this out. I tortured the heck out of this drill bit. I tortured the heck out of it. And it still has its teeth. It still has its teeth, they're still thick. I still see the design. I love my new, I love my new, uh, Drill bit kit sets. These things are awesome. I do want to do a review on this brushless impact driver. I'll put the model number in the video right now. And this is my favorite tool. This is my absolute favorite tool that I have in my arsenal of Ryobi products. It has never let me down. It is very powerful. I do not know the specs of it, uh, like I said before, if you want to see the specs on stuff, check out uh, Making Stuff and Breaking Stuff's uh, YouTube channel and Edgar Martinez's uh, YouTube channel. There are more about the specs of, and a lot of other stuff and me, I'm just, uh, my channel is just for, to show you on how you would uh, use these tools on your homeowner everyday use. So. So, uh, but this tool is, uh, it's good. This tool is extremely good. It does the job very well. Now, is it the fastest and more powerful impact driver out there? No, but for my purpose of it, it, it works, uh, better than I need it to. Uh, this is not, uh, it's not a weak one. It is not a weak tool. It is a very powerful tool that I have in my disposal. And it is, and it, it's, it's awesome. I, I love the way it looks. I love the way it sounds, the way it smells. Everything all the way around is good about this tool. And just the HP system for the OnePlus, uh, it's, it's awesome. I'm like, it, you just get more power, more bang for your buck. That's it. And, uh, and yes, I recommend this tool to any homeowner that needs an impact driver. Now I do have another one. I do have another one right here. And actually I have two of them. I have two more. This one is not that powerful at all. It's not. This one is powerful, but not as powerful as this one is. Uh, this one is not a three speed variation. It's one uh, it's one setting, but it's a variable trigger. So, but you know, like if you're pushing down and you're trying to, to get that in there, it's hard to coordinate the variable trigger with the pressure you're putting on the tool. It's nice to have the three speed. So then you just go gun ho and do what you gotta do. I love this, uh, I'll do a review on this and demonstration of this one of this impact driver, which it, this one looks awesome as well as most of the tools that, uh, that Ryobi makes are. But, but yes, this one, not so much. This one, yeah, this one is not nearly as good as that one or this one, not even by a percent. So yes, let's put this one back. So, uh, I do recommend this to any any homeowner. This will, your satisfaction is guaranteed to do repairs around the house, to build stuff. Uh, satis I gar satisfaction guaranteed when it comes to this tool. And so yes, it is my favorite tool in my arsenal. Making Stuff and Breaking Stuff did do a review on this versus the uh, comp uh, head to head combat against the Milwaukee version. If you want to check that out go ahead but no matter what the results are i still love my ryobi that being said this is david nicholas uh thank you for tuning in and i'll see you guys next time